Does Presents. I am your host, Brent Butler, animal rights activist, retired philanthropist, and host of Pop Does Presents. And today I have with me Jocelyn and Chris Arndt. Hey. So we're going to talk to them a little bit and uh, hear all about what's happening in your world. Um, but first, why don't we start off with a song? Mm. You guys meet. <laughs> yeah, well, you know. I don't really remember. You know, 
It was a long time ago. Are you actually brother and sister, or is it like a PR stuff? <laughs> oh, I see, like a, like a white stripes deal. That I mean, look how quickly you uh, you you. you we remember, it. yeah. I mean, uh, no, we're actually we're actually brother and sister. Some people say that you aren't. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> if you're just tuning in, that was a very funny joke because our last name great. is aren't. Um, a R N D T. Yes. It's German. It needs like a lot more vowels. Yeah, it's like an A and then every consonant, pretty much. We'll, we'll, we'll work on that. We'll pick it up. I mean, we're, we just we just got the whole brother sister thing down. There's only so much a PR agency can do. <laughs> Give us time. We will simplify the names and just make them all vowels. Um, so you're both wearing very uh, patterny, flowy shirts yes. today. Nobody informed me that that would be going on. Is this? Is would this you have joined in? I would have absolutely joined in. Right. I never get to join in on any of your reindeer <laughs> games, and it makes me very upset. No, like, Chris, is, Chris is the pattern guy. Yeah, yeah, no, this is, um, the pattern shirts are like my normal look. Jocelyn doesn't usually wear this shirt that often. I'm just, I didn't know she was going to pull it out today. So you guys, you guys don't arrange it? No, we didn't. We don't usually, although sometimes it ends up matching anyway. Yeah. Just, oh. It's embarrassing when you wear the same thing. That's true. Uh, so, tell us about Footprints on the Moon. Yeah, so that was the first single off our album, uh, Go, which came out in May? Chris, is that, is that correct? Yeah, May. Man, it's, been, it's been a few months. It doesn't feel like it's been that long, but um, it's our second full-length album. And uh, yeah, that was the first track, first single. Um, pushed it to radio. It did, it did well. It broke the, the AAA Top 100. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, wow. <laughs> Almost time to write a new album. <laughs> yeah. But that's cool. Uh, and 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 what what is it about? It, unless it's literally about um, like moonwalking. Yeah. Well, <laughs> <it's>, <laughs> I guess it's about like I wish it was about moonwalking. And Could when be. you say moonwalking, do you mean like like Michael Jackson or like? Or do you space? mean like uh, 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 Neil Armstrong? Is it Neil or Lance? It's Neil. Neil. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They were siblings too, actually. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a so it's a fact. I did think that for a little while when I was when I was younger. Yep. Did you? I, I actually did. I thought that that's was. really embarrassing. <laughs> it's it's embarrassing. quite embarrassing. That, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you have any other embarrassing uh, secrets about each other, given that you're brother and sister? I'm sure we do. <laughs> well, go ahead. You can tell us. No, nope. you know I won't tell anybody. <laughs> um. I don't even know where to. Where to begin? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to go the to God. The floodgates have opened. I have no idea. No, I don't really know. Honestly, I honestly think the most embarrassing thing is that we're rock and rollers. We're supposed to like go out and I don't know, wreck stuff and be crazy, and we're actually not that, yeah. not that crazy. It's a it's a really good day if I go to bed before like midnight. That's a great day. That's a good day. You, you, okay, yeah. Unless we have a show, in which case, that's a better day. Yeah. <laughs> Rock and roll. <laughs> yeah. It's just funny, because you get a lot of you know? comparisons, and, and you can hear it in the song, actually, with your with your vocals, which are superb and like very powerful, and uh, I see now why there's a lot of uh, references made in uh, the, the press out there to Janis Joplin, you know, um, which I think is a huge compliment. Yeah. And... Uh, so, so you, but you're not, you're not embodying that that lifestyle. I mean, you guys went to Harvard together, right? Yeah. So like real, like that's where most <laughs> rockers get their start. Yeah. It's like you know. A little known hotbed of the uh, yeah. of the rock. There were CDGs, yeah. uh, and then, but the Ramones actually, it was Harvard. Yeah. Yeah. It's like right in the yard. Yeah. The yeah. Right but everybody attributes it to CDGs. <laughs> you know? Best kept secret in Boston. Yeah. So do you have another uh, song for us? We do. Sure. Yeah, we'd love to play another one. Two. Oh, Chris has a tune. Okay, well. But yeah. We'll give them time. Yeah, this one's called, uh, it's another one off Go. It's called Red Stops Traffic. It's a little bit more, um, I guess moody would be the, would be the adjective. It's a little bit darker. But it's the current single right now. So. Well, I'm, I'm pulling down the game. You okay. have such a powerful voice. I can like, 
And it's it's beautiful. Listen, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I just gotta adjust. That's, that's that's all it is. So I'm gonna do a little bit of the slow down. This is a little bit of the. Sorry, we are live. Sorry. Oh, it's fine. Sometimes a little bit. I don't know. You want it. You want it to be something that you can like hold and have yeah. it be a representation of like all the work you put into it. So sometimes I I, I understand the CD. I think I think vinyl's even better yeah. that way because it's even it's even bigger and cooler. And it's like yeah, I made this. 
Yeah, I, 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 there's a record player right over there. <laughs> that is cool. I, I think. I yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's very cool. It could be anything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. um, so, and, and you're in New York City right now, right? That's a fact. Yes. That is a fact. We are here. And, but you're from... We're from upstate New York, actually. Mm -hmm. Like, tiny, really, tiny really town. Really small town. Like was, real, we're, we're four hours away from the city, not like Westchester. Yeah, you know? yeah. I always say like more, more cows than people. Yeah. You can say Canada. Sorry. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> our friends, our friends to the that. north. Yes. We had a Canadian singer on here last week. <laughs> Shout out to Common Holly. Yeah. So. Oh, that's right. Yeah, Common Holly. She was great. That's okay, Dan. <laughs> you know, I'm here. Trying to focus part of it. Um. Yeah, so, all right, so, but when I looked at a lot of your shows, though, I saw a lot of Tennessee, a lot of Texas. Uh, yeah, oh, we, try to, we try to make it kind of all over the place, so we're actually, we're driving to Cleveland tomorrow. Yes. We're going to yeah. be in Cleveland for two days, then we, like, have a little bit of a break, we're going to try to, like, mm. write an album somewhere in there. <laughs> yeah. And then we're actually, we're coming back to New York City December 9th at Rockwood, mm. we're going to be playing. Ooh, so I'm that's a pretty, great venue. Pretty excited. But are you just in town? Not, did you guys do a show here, or is it just no? Just, just came for you guys. Just pop yeah. That makes a lot of sense. A lot of people do that. <laughs> Dan, Dan is pressing things over there, which uh, yeah, it's never a good sign when I'm pressing things because oh. it says it's trying to reconnect. Oh. Don't worry, we got footage. It's just that this Perfect. live shit. Is like <laughs> my my computer. Like you can take a picture of the computer and, and post that as like it's not my fault. <laughs> Imagine if this was actually still going was, uh, Oh, it is? Oh. <laughs> Alright. It's alright. It's live. Yeah. It's live. <laughs> That's why. Now it's not. Alright. <laughs> no, I, I, uh, well, so, so you guys are... Uh, you guys... <laughs> tell me... Tell us a bit about the song that we just heard. Um, so yeah, that one is our newest... Well, I guess not newest, latest radio single. Um, we started pushing that one in the beginning of October. And um, actually this week it hit number 72 on the AAA Top 100, so we're pretty pumped about that. Um, but uh, it's just kind of a, I think it's, it's one of our darker, darker ones from the sure. album. It started with the riff, actually. Yeah. Chris has had that riff. How long have you? I wrote that riff when I was 14, and I'm wow. 21. Wow. So, so it's very long. It's, it's a well-aged riff. Yeah. Um, sometimes we record things and we're like, oh, we really like that, but not yet, you know, like, it needs to, like, I don't know, age. So we save it in our phone and then it goes into the cloud and it's reappears. When I was on, when I was on the internet earlier, which I do from time to time, <laughs> um, I saw, I think it was a SoundCloud, but it was a other project, uh, Strangers in Fairyland, is that a thing? Yeah, that was the first, first recorded EP that we ever yeah. did. Mm -hmm. That's Wow, it's been like 2014. 40. Three years. That's well, a throwback. Yeah. I, love, yeah. I don't. I don't remember anything about 2014. <laughs> <laughs> I, was older, I mean, yeah. Speaking another language, maybe the strangers in fairyland. I mean, we established that you're siblings. So what? What? Um, um, the thing that I want to ask you guys next is, what's the best advice you've ever been given? There's a lot of people out there watching right now who want to know how they can be working on, you know, their third album right yeah. now and, and touring around. Man. Um, it feels a little weird. I feel like I feel like I'm still not. I don't know. I'm not in the position to give advice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Since since you asked, I don't know. Well, I'm given uh, the best advice that you've been given. Yes. Okay. This is this is good because we've been given a lot of really, really yes, good advice. True. We've been lucky enough to have people around us that, that know what they're doing. Um, I would say for me, I don't know about I, about you, Chris, but for me, um, our producer basically like the kind of mantra that we perform by is like, play every show like it's your last because you don't know who's watching. You know, like like no, sh there are no like. Like a hitman. Yes. And you could be watching? Yeah, it could be your last. Yes. You don't want to disappoint it could be your last show. Wow. Yeah. No, but it's it's true though. It's it's really some of the some of the most instrumental shows um, that have gotten us to where we are. There were like, you know, four people there, mm -hmm. and that just happened to be the show that we met our producer. Or you know, right. we had another okay. show and it was freezing and you know maybe not not the best vibe, and we ended up you know getting another relationship out of it. So it matters. Everything matters. 
And then just devil's avocado. I, w I need Chris now to debunk that advice. To debunk that advice with, yeah. with like different advice or just say that. Yeah, you need counter it. We're just you know. I mean, Everything well, I said is just. Yeah. Trash. Yeah. Well, I mean, it goes for most things. I uh, know. <laughs> wait, wait, so I, so ugh. the best advice I've been given or no no no. Just no. Like well, I'm, well, I'm, you know, all right. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, that guys, took a little while. Across. Guys, I'm having some serious technical oh, difficulties. No. The live feed. Uh, your words are captured for all time, but. Uh, okay, here we go, it's back. <laughs> <laughs> but just so you can good. see what's going on. Oh, oh no! This is... No! Is it's, that it's how art. Phone too? It's just art, that's all. I mean, that, that does look pretty cool. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. fair to land. It could be, it could be an out, outline. Is that happening on your phone too, or is it just... Uh, no, my phone phone is like, it's sometimes it's it'll so reconnect and sometimes it's not, oh. but like, I see... Huh? Annie, are you watching it? Yeah, it's the same thing here. What's that? The You're good? Crazy. The psychedelic album. Oh, well, can really, you yeah. hear it, though, is my question, because if you could hear it, that's actually kind of cool. <laughs> can you hear it? Can. Actually, you can hear it. Oh, cool. It's not on my phone. Huh? All right. All right. Um, well, maybe just finish it up for, yeah. the, uh, for the people at home. Uh, sure. Yeah. Um, so... People can expect you in Ohio shortly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll be in Ohio, Ohio Thursday and Friday, and then, like I said, we're coming back here on December yes. night to play Rockwood. So we love to and see. And Rockwood's an awesome place. venue. It is awesome. Um, any things that you want people to go to to click on to look at? For sure. If you want to check us out at our music, um, make sure you you can go to jocelynandchrismusic.com, or you can just kind of. Google us, find us on Instagram, Spotify.